what's going on everybody welcome back to another video in this video we are going to be building a greenhouse this is going to be a little tutorial and rather and this is going to be a little bit different than my normal tutorials rather than building them in creative i decided to try it and build it in survival in my let's play world so i did some things off camera i did some grinding on the skeleton farm and i got some xp and look what i got guys Fortune 3 pickaxe, finally. So you bet I was using the crap out of that on coal. And I went ahead and did find some diamonds. Um, I didn't find too many. I didn't have a whole lot of time to play off camera. I did run into a cave filled with the warden stuff, however. So that's pretty interesting. I might go ahead and show you guys that in another video. But this video is going to be primarily for the greenhouse build that you clicked on this video to see. So we're I'm just going to flatten this out out and fix the stone and then we will get started on that build all right guys i created a layout for the lighthouse again it looks a little bit like a hot mess right now but it'll start to make more sense as we get started on it so all the little cutouts that's where crops are going to be um got a whole line going on back there um it might change a little bit as we start to build but as for right now this is we are what we're going to start with so all right, this is starting to take shape now a little bit. So these little side um, little sections of this um, greenhouse, these are only going to be just a few blocks tall, and then they're going to roof up into the main section, which is going to have a nice big grand roof. So we're going to start just by towering up here with our oak logs up in. I'm not quite sure how high we are going to go. Let's just see. We're at we're at four now. Five, six. Seven. Hmm. I think we'll do six high, and then it's gonna do like an oval kind of shaped roof, and then the sides over here. These are only gonna be, I think, three high, and then it's gonna be a diagonal roof that meets in the middle. All right, this is what we got so far, and I changed my mind. We are not gonna put logs here. We are actually going to use spruce planks, not spruce logs. Um, and I'm gonna not, I'm not going to touch these center ones quite yet because I'm not sure how high we're going to need for um, need these to go to meet the roof. But what we're going to do next is we're going to take our spruce logs and make some spruce planks because that is going to be what the roof is made of. All right, I just made the little front section here, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I did a little bar going across like so, but yeah, this this is pretty much how the roof is going to be for the main part, but it's going to be more like circular. I'm actually wondering if I should have done that here. I wonder, I don't know if they're going to match too well. Let me get up here and redesign this real quick and see how it looks. Alright, so I came up with these little window thingies here. Uh -huh. I think I kind of like the way they look. I also went ahead and added some trap doors here. I hope this doesn't look too much like Spongebob's pineapple with these window shapes but I don't think that'll happen um, but we'll see but yeah I just made these these are two slabs here and then two stairs upside down on top of each other and then two slabs on top pretty pretty easy nothing nothing too complicated alright guys so I ended up destroying those things and I finally got a roof shape together this took me like 15 20 minutes to do but I think this looks awesome, and I also raised this up by one block and changed the design just a tad. And I think we're I think we're getting somewhere now. Um, I think I want to do like a big grand circle window though in the middle up here. I think I have an idea um, for that. I think I want to implement it into the glass and then maybe do a layer of glass right behind it. But then I'm gonna have to somehow make it work from the inside. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but I think we're gonna. Um, do that now honestly I'm just gonna fill it in and then we're gonna cut a hole and yeah I should honestly get some scaffolding because I'm tired of building up there with blocks it's very annoying I think I'm gonna remove these two logs here and mimic that little um I don't know what to call that I'm just gonna mimic that here I think that would look good I'm not I don't think I'm gonna put a doorway here because there's really no reason to but I just want to mimic that because I think it will look good and you'll be able to see it through the glass, so. 
and I cannot stress it enough guys make sure you have a lot of glass because I think I had probably I think I probably used about five or six stacks here and I ran out now I have to go get more so make sure that you get probably like I'd say eight to ten stacks of glass I think that you'll be safe if you gather about that much so I gotta go see if I have some in my chest if not I'm gonna have to go out and get myself some more sand all right, I went ahead and finished this um, roof here, and I also added some skylights in here. I think these will be really nice touch. I'm going to also add some on the bigger roof as we get closer to that, but I think for now I'm just going to work on the side ones, and then we will do the big one at the end. I also decided to remove the glass that I had at the top here, and I started doing the walls um, filling in the walls with glass and I started working on the roof for this side and I think the majority of the roof is going to actually be glass with a just a few spruce pillars going across but I need to go get a lot more sand I thought I grabbed enough but then I came up with that idea so yeah I gotta go get a lot more Looks like there's an azalea tree over here. Hmm, this is interesting. I've yet to come over here. But yeah, it looks like there's an azalea tree growing in the water right there. So there's definitely a lush cave under here. Or at least I think that's what these mean. Oh, I'm gonna continue on to find some sand. Some interesting formations over here. Oh, I think that's like a like an underwater ruin on the surface. Let's check it out. It's also one of those new swamps over there. But yeah, it looks like we have ourselves a ruin here. Yeah, there's another portal I found earlier. I didn't even see this from over here. Let's see if there's a chest in here. I found a chest. Yes, I needed that really badly. I really needed that mending on my fishing rod. I gotta get some. I gotta get some sand. It's getting dark. That's great. All right. So from the ground, this is what it looks like. Um, we have not decorated much yet. Like this is all gonna get trimmed out nice, cause you know that kind of doesn't look great. Um, but yeah. So. I'm wondering how, if I should cover that up, how the glass gets covered by the, um, the overhang there. I wonder if I should cover that up. I don't know. We'll get there. I'm, this is such an intense project. I am, I am exhausted, but yeah, we're just going to continue the roof. That's really all we have to do for the majority of this. And then I just have to make these pillars go all the way up. Um, I might just shoot up here with this pillar here. Um, Cause it'll go like to yeah that's about as high and I'll just jump and make it and fall a little bit but made it sort of <laughs> all right and then I'm gonna get back up here can I, I can't place this on stairs that's great all right but yeah like so so I'm gonna keep the glass a layer under the wood um, I'm actually gonna Follow this all the way back, and then a little bar going over across. I don't, I don't know what to call this. Actually, you know what? You know what? Do I have any trap doors on me? I don't. That's great. I gotta go back down. Cause I have an idea. So I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna place the trap doors going over the glass, and then. Oops, back to, come on, <laughs> and then back to the steps, and then it'll kind of look like a little strap going over the glass. I think that better words it, I, th I think. Alrighty, there we go. Hmm, and then this, something like this.
I'm definitely gonna have to run down and get more glass soon, but yeah, I'm just going across and filling the whole thing in with glass. Yeah, I got a stack left. That ain't gonna be enough for the roof. Yeah, and then the step there, step there. Get to my slabs. Slab. We're in the blocks. Block. We're gonna stop right there and then continue going across with glass. But yeah, this is kind of what I'm what I'm thinking here. All right, four more stacks of stained glass. I think this is gonna do it. We are so close. This thing looks sick. It's looking really cool, and it's huge. I, I really don't, I really didn't need it to make it this big, but it doesn't matter. It's it's done, and it's going to look cool. I've, this is hands down the biggest greenhouse I've ever made by like two or three times. I, I have some experience making greenhouses, but not on this scale, but it looks like it turned out pretty well. Alright guys, I just did the whole roof. The structure of the greenhouse is now completed. Let's take a look. This thing is grand, let me tell you. Now we can continue up with these pillars. Until we reach the ceiling. Actually, this should be broken and filled in like that. And let's go down. And that's done. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in these two. If the pillars are done. This thing looks crazy. Now, we are definitely going to fill the ceiling with this with all kinds of vines and plants. This thing is going to look out of this world. I'm going to take some stairs. I think doing this would clean this up a bunch. Just doing that does a whole lot but I gotta make some more materials. All right, I did the trim, and I also went ahead and put some lanterns by those solid blocks, and I think that does a lot of lighting. That does a, that helps a lot with the lighting. Um, I'm gonna have to brainstorm some ideas here. I think I'm gonna do some pillars going across a little bit lower. I'll put some flowers and maybe drape some vines over that. And we're going to get started on the ground here. Now, I think I might have changed my mind with the dirt. I think I want to do stone in the middle at least. And then this will probably at least be dirt over here. Because I think the stone will make it seem a lot more um, fancy. But guys, this, this, I am, I am mentally drained from this build. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I am tired. But I am extremely pleased with how this came out. I'm also going to start um, hoeing the ground. That's definitely not the right way to say it, but, you know, um, getting the ground ready to be fertilizing the soil. That seems like a solid way to go about things. I fertilize, starting to fertilize the soil, and I came up with this little wall design and put some lanterns because I'm definitely going to put some flower pots here with some flowers uh, and I'm going to do the exact same thing here but I have to go ahead and reverse this Let's see where's my dirt and then I have to get rid of the stone luckily there's already some grass there get my water boom oops alright boom 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 Alright, and fertilize the ground. Perfect. And we're gonna take our wood. Stair, stair, slab, slab. Block in the middle. Slab, slab. And lantern, lantern. And we're gonna do this on that side too, I, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. Um. We're going to do something like this as well. Uh, I don't know about that. 
There we go, trap door is better so that I can still place things on it. Because I was going to put a slab just one block above that, but I wouldn't be able to put anything on it then. And it would look a little goofy, so that's a lot better. Out of materials again. I'm going to have to go get me some. Also, guys, I think I'm going to go and put trap doors under all these windows. I think that would look really good. Um, but I'm going to have to go get a lot more materials to do that. Make sure you have stacks and stacks and stacks of wood and especially glass. Probably 15 stacks of glass blocks went into this build is going to be my guess. Probably a little bit more than that or even a little, definitely not a little less than that. I'd say set yourself up with at least 15 stacks of glass and just see where it goes from there. Alright guys, new design. Get rid of the, I got rid of the, um, trapdoors and put slabs and then I outlined it here with trapdoors with a little hump with the trapdoor above. I think that looks super cool. Um, that little change in, um, change of pace there. So, oh wait, no, I was not supposed to do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it on this side now. And then the little hump above. Looks like I made a mistake right here. Boom. And then the... nope. Alright. And I messed that up. I probably should not have done this yet because I still need to do lots of building and I'm just gonna keep messing up the ground. Alright, he... that's done both sides. And yes, I do need to go and add that window there. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. I think... I'm gonna do that. I wonder how that would look if I made that a clock, or if that just wouldn't make any sense because it's a greenhouse. I could take, um, yeah, that would not make any sense. We're not gonna do that. Scratch that. Don't listen to me. So I don't think I'm gonna do logs going across. I think I'm just gonna do trap doors, but I gotta make a bunch more real quick. Another 32 trap doors. These things just suck up all my wood. Like, no joke. Of course, I just did that. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. Actually, what if I do something like this? Hmm, that, that that's interesting, right? Almost like it's like a hanging shelf. Or what if I just literally just do this? I really don't know. I think I might just do that just to be s just just for now. That looks cool. I think I'm gonna put some trap doors here. Yeah, do that on this side. Cool. Uh, I don't want to. Wonder what this would look like. I know I'm going nuts with trap doors right now. I am definitely going ham with trapdoors, but they just work so well for so many things. I don't hate it, but I'm just wondering if it's too much. We're just going to go with it for now and see... Wait, 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 what if I do that? Ooh, that's spicy. Oops. That's cool. I think we're going to do that. So it's a little bit different than the other ones. Alright guys, I went ahead and... Oh, I missed a spot. I went ahead and filled in the floor with this little uh, block combination that I have going on here. And I went ahead and um, fertilized this bit of land here to plant some plants. Um, the only thing next to, do, next to do is the side patches here, which I'm going to do in coarse dirt for the majority, and then we are going to plant and decorate a little bit with some leaves, plants, flowers, all that good stuff to make this place really look like a greenhouse. The only thing left to do is decorate the fun part. So I have some stuff here already, and then I have some stuff in this chest over here that I placed early on in the build. Um, definitely gonna need all of this stuff. Uh, I don't really need a lot of any of this dirt anymore. So I can just throw that out. I need, I don't need any of that sand anymore. Still got plenty in the house. I got way too much, but I'm glad I did this time. 
I'm going to dump some of this stuff that I really don't need for things that I do need now. So, um, excited to plant, I'm excited to place down the bees' nests. This is going to be cool. Uh, I wonder how they're going to do. But first, before we could do that, we got to start planting. Definitely need some flowers in here so that they can pollinate um, and get nectar and die, and not die. Because I'm pretty sure that they do die if they don't get any um, pollen in them for a while. But don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure on that. Alright, let's plant some flowers. I'm going to have to go get a bunch more flower pots. I only brought five over for some reason, but that's a start. Um, for the wheat, I'm pretty sure we were going to do... These are going to be melons, I'm pretty sure. Melons and pumpkins we're going to do over there. Uh, I'll just do wheat here. Why not? We'll just do this section as wheat. And then I have a tiny bit of carrot, so this is all we're going to be able to do as far as carrots go until I get my bone meal over here. This will be all be carrot. This will all be potatoes. I got plenty of potatoes. Okay. And I'm not sure what to do over here. I might just do more wheat. Why not? We got plenty of wheat seeds. We're going to fill this up. And then we're going to take our oak leaves and place them around a little bit. Just to add some green, more green in here. Um, I'm going to place some up here. I'm going to be able to do this. There we go. And then we're going to make a drip, droop down a little bit in some spots. Put some here. Put some here. Make it drip down. And we're going to go along and do this in a couple of areas. Might just be easy if I just climb up here. And we're going to put one there. And put one there. I don't know about that. Um, I think we're going to like make them uh, vine upwards. Um, and just kind of go everywhere, kind of go nuts. I think I am just going to finish all this, because I think I'm just going to fill it with vines. But I need my scaffolding, and I need to go get some more flower pots. And then, we are very close to finishing this, guys. This is looking so cool. And we're also going to place some leaves on the outside of this as well, to make the outside look super cool, too. And then we're going to go ham with bone meal. Um, just plant grass everywhere. And we're going to place them on the roof. Um, and create, like, vines and stuff. I have to get up here. I'm running out. Um, okay. I thought I grabbed enough, but it would appear not. So we're just going to go down here. And just make a little vine with leaves. Now I gotta get some more, but luckily I planted a ton of trees here. Alright guys, I went ahead and went ham with the leaves. I planted some leaves on the ground, I put some grass in here. Planted some flowers, and I went ahead and planted, uh, placed the beehives, and look at them. They're happy. And I also thought, um, I have jungle wood, so why not, um, why not grow some in here? So I thought maybe, like, right here, I'll put, like, a little section for them, and just plant my cocoa beans. Now, that doesn't look super appealing. Alright, that looks a little better. I put trap doors and then just some, uh, some stairs, but yeah. I think this thing looks super cool. I'm definitely going to add um, some more details to it over time. And if I do, I will make sure to update you guys. But actually, I'm going to go ahead and plant um, the melon seeds real quick. I completely forgot about that. I also have some moss carpet I think I'm going to spread around um, to add a little bit more decoration. But guys, just look at this thing. This thing is crazy. This thing turned out amazing. Can't get over it. Alright, I placed some moss, uh, moss carpet around, and that just really, really brought the floor to life. And I placed the melon seeds. I know this isn't the most efficient way to grow them, but I don't really care. This is more for aesthetic purposes, because, I mean, I can't grow a whole lot of food in here, but at least it's really safe, and it's just beautiful. I mean, with, especially with the shaders. Like, look at the, the bees flying around in here. It just brings it to life.
Alright guys, but I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned some stuff. I hope you guys love the way this greenhouse turned out as much as I do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this isn't normally like... I usually don't just focus on a build the entirety of an episode, but I wanted to kind of mix my Let's Play series with uh, my build tutorials. Um, I hope you guys I hope you guys like that. And, I hope, and let me know, because I can do more of my... Let's build tutorials like this. I really enjoyed this a lot rather than just building it in creative. I can actually implement it into my survival world and actually, you know, use my builds and create stuff that, you know, can actually like benefit me in my world. Like this, this is freaking gorgeous. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.